Hi everybody, my name is Christy for the Williams YMCA. I am going to bring you a beginner glute workout right from the comfort of your own home. All that you're going to need is a soft floor and maybe a couple resistance bands, but you don't need these for the workout. Did you know that your glutes are responsible for assisting you in the way you walk, going up the stairs, coming up out of a chair? And if you're an athlete, they help you jump higher, run faster, and lift heavier. So the glutes are a very, very, very important muscle group that we should train often during the week. So I'm going to start off with a simple exercise called the glute bridge. Come with me and lie down onto your back. You want to make sure that your heels are directly underneath your knees. Your back is pulled down against the floor and your arms are really long. We're gonna push our hips up, pushing through the floor and lifting our hips up high. So in this position, you should notice that I have a straight line from my knees, my hips, and my shoulders. We wanna avoid doing an over arch right here because that's gonna put a lot of strain on the back and we wanna strengthen the back and not put too much pressure there. So we're just gonna press up with the pelvis squeeze the glutes, and then come back down. So let's do 20 reps here. I want you to concentrate on squeezing your glutes when you push those hips up to the sky. We got about 10 more reps to go. Keep that squeeze right here. About five more reps. Keep that tension in the glutes. Three to go. Last one and up. Really good. All right, so if you're a little bit more advanced in that exercise, you can always add one of these resistance bands around the knee. So we're gonna do three sets. I'm gonna go ahead and place this over my legs and right above the knees. So what the resistance band's gonna do is gonna add a lot more heat into those glutes with this exercise. So we're gonna come back down, lie down onto the back, and you wanna avoid your knees caving in. So that band, if it's too strong, is gonna make your knees cave in. The purpose of this exercise is to pull away from the band keeping that tension here. I can already feel that tension lying down on my back without even doing the bridge. Let's come with me if you have a band, if not body weight only. Pressing up and down. I felt a dramatic difference just adding that band above my knees. Now, if you've never used a band, they have different strengths that you can buy at the store. All you're gonna have to do is pull on them to see what works for you. I recommend really starting off with a light band, get used to that first, and then gradually moving your way up into what I have. And this is a heavy, heavy, heavy band. But I have strong glutes, so I have progressed into this level here. Again, keeping those glutes nice and firm, big squeeze at the top. Let's do three more. And three, two, and one and relax so in between sets you can always tuck in your knees that's going to relieve some of your back going to take a little bit of pressure off of that spine and stretch out those glutes all right one more set again you can keep the band on or off press those knees out want to feel that tension right off the bat pressing up and down Now, if it's hard for you to focus on those glutes, you can pause a little bit at the top, feel that squeeze, and then release. You're doing great. Keep it up. Make sure you're breathing in through the nose, exhaling out the mouth. We'll do five more reps. Five, four, three, two, and one, all the way back down. Great. All right, we're going to move on to our next exercise which is called the clamshell. So the clamshell is really going to help develop those muscles on the outer part of your glutes called the abductors and also strengthen those hips. So what you're going to do is you're going to come to your side. 
all the way down to your elbow. So you want your elbow directly underneath your shoulders. You want to pull your knees in front of you and you want to crisscross your feet. So that top leg is going to lift up. If you're feeling a little bit unstable, go ahead and place your hand right in front of your belly. If not, you can always place your hand on your hip, whatever feels comfortable for you. You're going to lift that top leg up and then all the way back down. Let's just start with 10 reps. Let's do five more on this side. So you should really feel this hip and outer glute. Three, two, and one. All right, let's turn around to the other side. Same thing. Elbow underneath your shoulder. You're gonna bring your knees to the front, cross your feet, brace yourself with your hand if you need it, or place it up here on your hip, lifting up and down. You want to keep your spine nice and straight. Four, three, two, and one. All right, we're going to go back to the other side. If you have a resistance band, you're going to want something a little bit more flexible because this is a challenging exercise. I'm going to do my next two sets with the band wrapped on the part of my calves, so on the lower part of my legs. Again, coming back to my elbow, bringing my knees in front, crossing my feet, hand on the hip or in front of you, and you're going to lift up. So this is going to add a little bit more tension to those outer glutes. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. All right, let's take it to the other side. Elbow under shoulder. Cross your feet, lift through that spine, and let's go. Lots of tension through there. So this exercise is always hard for me. My abductors are always a little bit weaker on the weaker side, so my band is a little bit lighter at this point compared to what I used for the bridges. In three, two, and one. All right, turn around. One more set each side. You're doing wonderful out there, so take it slow. You do not have to use a band, all right? Just use one when you're ready, when your glutes start to strengthen. There we go. Lift up that knee, feel that outer glute. Four, three, two, and one. Last time on the other side, and then we're gonna change to your last exercise. All right, elbow under the shoulder, lift up high through the spine, and let's go. Three, four, keep lifting that knee high. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Wonderful. All right, last exercise. We're gonna go back to the floor into a bridge position. But we're gonna focus on one glute at a time. So what we're gonna do is called a single leg bridge. We're gonna push all of that weight onto one side. So press through one heel. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into that bridge. We're gonna lift the knee on the opposite side, pressing through the heel, squeezing that glute and coming all the way back down. Press up and then down. So it's a really good idea to do some unilateral training, which means just one side at a time, whether you're working glutes or upper body or lower body. We're all a little unbalanced, right? We're not usually equal on both sides. So what this allows us to do is put a lot of work, a lot of tension into that one area so we can't cheat. So if you have a weaker side, over time, your bodies will begin to be more balanced. All right, we're gonna take it to the other side. We're gonna lift up and down. Really pressing through that heel. All the way up. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Back to the other side, just go right into it. You're gonna try to get those hips up as high as you can. 
but you'll find that with this particular exercise, you may not be able to get your hips as high as if we were doing the two leg bridge. All right, two more. And switch again right up into it. You really should be feeling that glute of the leg that's planted on the floor. Press up high in three, two, and one. One more time, other leg, press through. I know you feel tension in those glutes. You don't have to go right into it if you're not ready. I just really like to feel that constant tension into the backside of my body. You'll feel this in your hamstrings as well. All right, switch. All right, almost there, everybody. Keep those hips up. Two more. And relax. Tuck in your knees. Great work for today. So that's a beginner's glute workout. The more advanced that you get, you can add on reps, you can add on sets. You can also add elevation to your bridges. So for example, you might want to play uh, you might want to place a small little bench beneath the feet. So you're going to get more range of motion into that exercise just to create a little bit more tension into those bottoms. All right, let's take it to the other side. Knee pulls in. And cross it over the hip. You did wonderful this morning. A quick little 10 minute workout just for the glutes. Very doable, something that you can do every single day to strengthen that lower body. And you will find when your glutes strengthen, you are more functional, you're able to do more things, you're able to move better, you'll feel better, you'll be able to walk up the stairs better, get out of your chairs better, and have an overall more functional body. Thank you all for being with me today. I will see you again next time.